Hello, and welcome to this session of Microsoft Excel. First off, my name is Kyle Pugh, and I want to welcome you to this video. During this session, we're going to be taking a look at a question that I just got from one of our students about working as head of Excel and taking a column of data, something like you have in front of you right now, and turning it into something a little more usable. Uh, this person wanted to be able to turn this into mailing labels and to be able to do sorting with the data. Well, right now, as it's set up, it, it looks like mailing labels, right? We've got the person's name, we got their street address, we got their region, um, but I'm not able to really manipulate this data, meaning I can't quickly sort it. I can't quickly filter the data. Uh, it's just not set up properly for that type of work. So what I need to do here is essentially turn this into a nice little table. Just have each record on its own line. We can have a couple of columns, uh, name, street address, region, whatever. Uh, and then that way we can sort it, we can filter it and do whatever we need to. And then eventually, maybe we can turn around and dump it into Microsoft Word through the mail merge feature and create the mailing labels there. So. This right here, if I just leave it alone here inside of Excel, if I want to turn this into a list, it would be a lot of cut and paste and moving stuff around, or maybe somebody might create a macro to do this for us. It would take a lot of work. And in reality, creating this file right here for this demonstration, it took me a lot of work because I went to a list that was already formatted with rows and I cut and pasted it all together to create this. Uh, so it was a bit of work to get it to look this way. Now I got to reverse that and get it into a list. So we're going to take a look at a tool built into Microsoft Excel since the 2016 version uh, called Power Query. It's part of the Git and Transform tool. Uh, now you can actually install it instead of earlier versions as well. Uh, we're not going to talk about that here inside this video, but I'm going to show you how the Power Query tool can help us get this into a proper list format. So take a look. So my first step, uh, I got my individual records here, Maria, Anna, Antonio, Thomas, and so on. And there's a nice empty row in between each of them. I'm going to leave that there for right now. Eventually, we're going to clean that up. Now, we've got two columns of these addresses. I'm going to take this column. I'm going to grab all of that. Let's just get all the way down to the bottom here. I think we're almost there. I don't want to pass it. There it is. And I'm going to cut that out, control X, and I'm going to come down to the bottom of this list, row number 57. I'm going to leave that empty row there again, and I'm going to paste it in. All right, so now I got a nice column there of all the data that I want to turn into a list. Now, my next step is I want to select all of that. So I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to do a control up arrow, just get it all the way back up to the top there. Control shift up arrow, let's get all that data selected. So now I'm going to activate the Get and Transform tool, and we're going to bring us into Power Query, where we can start to manipulate this, where we're going to get it to look like a table, a standard Excel list. So with all of that highlighted, I'll go up to my Data tab. On the left, we've got Get and Transform Data. I'm going to go into Get Data, From Other Sources, and I'm going to do From Table Range. All right. So we're going to create a new table. Our data is in A1 to A107. That's all that data that I just highlighted there, all the way down to row 107. Our table does not have a header currently, so I'm going to leave that unchecked, and I'll hit OK. All right, this is going to open up a completely separate window from Microsoft Excel. OK, still our data in the background, but we are now inside of the Power Query Editor. And you can see we got that same data there from row one down to, here it comes, 107. And we've got those empty rows in there. You can see that the way that Power Query treats it, it's a null value, it's an empty value. There's nothing there, it's empty. We're gonna get rid of that. Um, but we're gonna leave it there for just right now, but eventually we'll get rid of it. All right, so my goal is essentially to, to take each of these records here, there's Maria's entry, there's Anna's entry, and so on, and turn it into a row. Essentially, you want to, want to transpose each record from a column into a row, right? So, whoop, get out of there. So essentially, take Maria, put Maria and Anders into their own column, put the address into their own column, the region into their own column, and so on. And I want to repeat that 
for each row here. So we need to create a couple of additional elements here inside of Power Query that are going to assist us in doing this. The first thing I'm going to do is insert a new column here that's really just going to number the records for right now. That's all it's going to do. I'm going to go up to Add Column. I'm going to go into Index Column. And I'm going to do an index column starting from zero. So I'll go ahead and grab that. And this is going to add just a new column. By default, they call it index because that's what we use. And it just numbers the records starting at zero. So Marie Anders is zero. The street address there, one. Berlin, two, and so on and so on and so on. All right. So that's one. Now, we're not really going to use that in the end, but it's going to help us to transform this data into that list, columns and rows. So here's why we need it. So with that column still selected, my next step here, I'm going to add another column. We're actually going to add two more columns here. I'm going to go to Add Column. I'm going to go into From Number. And this is why this index column was very important. In order for us to use these calculations here to create a new column, we need to have a numeric value to work with. You can see when I clicked over into column Z or column one, all those options just turn off. Well, if I click back into the index column, which contains numeric data, they become available for me. So with that one selected, I'm going to go into from number standard, and I'm going to use this mod function. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, what does the mod function do for us? Well, so it tells us a little bit right here, enter a number from which to find a remainder for each value in the column. All right, so the mod function is going to take two numbers, divide them, and then give us the remainder, what's left over. So if we had something like, oh, let's see, uh, three divided by two, right? Three divided by two, we would get one, right? Two only goes into three once, but it has a remainder of one. So we would get the remainder of what's back, what's left over for it. Okay, so here, we're going to say, well, for each of these entries, each of these address blocks, there is one, two, three, four entries. Okay? Four entries, including the null, which eventually we're going to get rid of. But for right now, we have four entries there. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put a four in here. And what's going to happen is it's going to divide the, these two numbers. It's going to take what's in the column, the zero, the one, the two, the three, and so on and so on, and divide it with four. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK going to create a new column we got the module column there and it gives us the remainder right what's left over from the division of those two numbers so you can see here and now we're starting to create some groups index all that did was just number the records but now this mod function gives us the remainder where it's now creating groups based off the division of those two numbers we got zero one two three that's all for maria and then we got, again, 0, 1, 2, 3, all for Anna. And then Antonio. So now we're starting to create some groups here. Each record has a group of digits 0 through 3. Now, that's going to become very important here because that right there is going to become our columns. Our data is going to go into four columns. Column 0, column 1, column 2, column 3. So we've now set up our columns so that when we do the transpose or the pivoting of this data, it knows which column to put the data into. All right, one more, one more. Not only do we need columns, but we also need rows. So I'm going to go back to my index, back up to from number standard, and this time I'm going to use divide integer. All right, so now integer divide, uh, enter a number by which to integer divide each value in the column. I'm going to use four again. So this time again, it's going to take this value and divide it with what's inside of this column here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. So now we're continuing the groups. You can see here for Maria, Maria is all zeros. Uh, Anna is all ones. Mm, Antonio is all twos and so on. So we took the number four, we divided it with what's inside the column here, and we got back some groupings this is going to become the rows. Oops. Rows. So now we can say, hey, we've got four columns. 
And each of these have a respective row that they're gonna go into within those columns. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup. We've, we've told it which, what are the columns, what are the rows. We're now gonna get rid of this index. We don't need it. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna remove it. Remember its sole purpose was just to help us create these two columns. Also, I don't want these nulls. We don't need them. So I'm gonna go up to my column one, drop down. I'm gonna remove the empty, get rid of those. All right, here's the magic. So now we essentially wanna transpose this column here, but we want it to not just be one long record, something like the default Excel interface would do if you've ever messed with transpose there, but we want it to divide it up into columns and then divide it up into rows. And that's where these come into play. So I'm gonna select columns. I'm gonna go up to my transform call or tab. I'm gonna go into any column and I'm gonna pivot column. All right, so we've identified what's gonna be our columns. We are going to pivot column one, which is all of our values here. I'm gonna to go to advanced options and I don't wanna perform any aggregating function, meaning I don't wanna count or sum anything. I don't want any type of aggregating. So I'm gonna turn that to don't aggregate. And I'm gonna hit okay. You ready for this? Bloop. There's our data. So we've got our rows inside of there. We've got our values into the three separate columns that we created through that columns column. We can rename this. This is gonna be maybe name. This will be, I don't know, address. This will be region. There we go. We really don't need this column anymore. I can get rid of it. Right click, remove. There's our data. So now I wanna bring this back to Excel so we can do things like sort it. Maybe I wanna sort by a name or, you know what? We can even take this a step further because you know what? If I really wanna be able to sort by name or I wanna be able to sort by a specific element in the region, like the, the, uh, the state or the region, I guess in this case, we're kind of global here, then we wanna separate stuff out. So I could do something like this. I could grab name. I'm gonna go up to transform and underneath text column, I can do split column. So I am going to split by a delimiter and we'll keep it by space. And I'm gonna, we got each occurrence of delimiter. I, I think we just have first and last names in here. I don't know if there's anybody with a middle name in there. Cross our fingers, we'll hit okay. All right, now we've got first and last name in two separate columns. So maybe I'll rename that. This will become first name. This will become last name. All right, we can keep going. You can do something with your region if you like to. Let's call it quits right there. I'm gonna to go to home, close and load, and I'm gonna do in close and load two just for the demonstration. All right, I'm gonna tell it existing sheet, and I'll put it over here inside the D column, just so we can compare what we got here. I'll hit okay, and there's our data. So what used to be two massive columns, we've combined into one column, Look at all that data right there. We took that and we were able to transform it into something more usable. So now I could do things like sorting, filtering. I could dump this into a mail merge within Microsoft Word and perform a mail merge there for mailing labels or form letters or whatever I need to do with it. But this is Microsoft Excel Power Query through the Git and Transform tool. This is an awesome tool, save you loads of time. Imagine if you had to do that by hand manually, cut and paste, cut and paste, right? That would take loads of time, right? Unless you're getting paid by the line item, right? I want my lunch, I wanna be able to go home early, uh, right? <laughs> uh, it's so much faster. So I appreciate you watching this video, give it a try. I'm gonna drop a link down in the description. You can download the file, you can practice it on your own. Try it on your own data as well. If you got something like that, how quick and easy is it to clean up that data and make it more usable? So I appreciate you watching this video. If you've learned something new, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.